Malcolm Graham remembers how cops used to be trained in IT. When I started in the police you used to go on a three-week course to learn to use what they called the computer system, says Scotland's Deputy Chief Constable for Crime and Operations. That course started off with the instructor explaining how to use the mouse, how to point at something, how to click on something. Graham and his colleagues are still catching up on how to police a digital world, and not just on the technical niceties, but the ethical ones too. New figures show official police records for cybercrime have more than tripled in the last year. However, Graham returns to a fairly familiar theme for policing, not all crimes are cybercrimes, but most crimes have a cyber element. The vast majority, in fact, clarifies Graham. And that means officers need digital tools and skills and, increasingly, legal and ethical understanding of how to, to use them. Last week Graham's boss, Chief Constable Leon Livingston, announced that Police Scotland will early next year roll out what the force call digital triage devices. Early press reports called these cyber kiosks. What are they really? Laptops that let police officers instantly hack, not the word the police would use, into a smartphone at a local station without packing the device off to a lab somewhere for months. The technology could be revolutionary not least in getting to the bottom of sex crimes. Victims and witnesses already routinely hand over their phones to police, voluntarily. So do suspects, usually under a warrant and sometimes voluntarily because they think their phone data will clear them. The current system can mean waving goodbye to the phone, and everything you need to live and work, for months, as specialist IT investigators crack it open. The triage devices are designed to make a quick assessment about what, if any, pertinent evidence, there is in a phone. Graham explains, the digital triage devices are effectively a laptop you plug the phone into. You can use the laptop to see what information is on that phone very quickly. The biggest difference is that it is going to allow us to focus on what is important. Because at the moment we have to trawl through volumes of data in laborious ways without any kind of practical evidential value. The beauty of triage devices is that it very quickly will allow us to capture the evidence pertinent to an investigation and therefore very quickly move us towards taking some action against individuals. What kind of things could police find? Take threatening behavior. Two-thirds of such crimes have a digital footprint. Are there threats or abusive messages on a phone? Or allegations of sexual offenses, a fifth of which are categorized as cyber crimes? Are there messages or images or content that for more on this story, visit the news article link.